Hello guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over the important upgrades or good upgrades for both factions. I'm going to start with resistance and then switch counts to confed. Alright, so let's get to it. So I'm not going to go over every single upgrade because that's going to take a lot of time. I'm just going to go over which ones are good or bad. Uh, so we're starting off for, with the rifleman. Uh, now rifleman, it's not good. For, well, it's not bad, but it's the the more important upgrades are going to be your health and your helmet because the helmet gives you uh, more health accuracy, but more importantly view range. So then. Once it's high level enough, you can see further, so then you can see better when you're in the forest or when you're scouting for containers. And the health is going to be good for upgrading your speed so that you can scout faster. But I'm not saying you shouldn't upgrade these ones, because, yeah, riflemen are still helpful to take the shots from explosive ammo like Zeus or Hammer. Um, now for pretty much everything, um, I think a lot of people agree with me, the repair speed for just every all the troops are not going to be one of the more useful ones because, yeah, it's just not useful, like, either it, either it lives or it dies, if it's half health, like, it'll heal fast enough till it's the next engagement, probably, probably. It does give you a little bit extra health, but yeah. Grenadier, um, I've not used Grenadiers a lot, but recently I've been using them in rushes, so I'm sorry <laughs> for people who have been rushed by me. I know it's very annoying, um, I get angry when I get rushed. It's not torments 2v2. Yeah, I accidentally pressed that button, sorry about that. Important upgrades, pretty much everything. Helmet's not going to be that useful, I mean the firing accuracy, yes, but it's it does area damage so if you look at this 0.9 rain uh, 0.9 radius so even if it misses it's still gonna do damage uh, and this don't upgrade that I don't know why I yeah it's not that useful so yeah sniper my sniper sucks um, I don't know much about snipers I don't use them but I assume it's just everything except you know recovery speed Accuracy is a big one because it's got um, low fire rate. So if you miss, can be life or death. Coyote. Um, this one is pretty important so that you can get the speed so you can dodge heavy assault rockets more. The accuracy. Well, pretty much everything, really. Uh, except for the repair speed. Okay, I'm just going to skip that one. Just assume that the repair, sp repair speed is bad. Armadillo. Okay. Um, health and armor, yep. Uh, they're pretty tanky when you're HQ2. They're, yeah. Um, pretty much everything. Upgrade your mine layer too, so you can unlock the mines. Uh, don't upgrade this mine. I don't know why I have three. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's horrible. Um, these mines are way better. These two. Infantry and vehicle. Uh huh. Jaguar. As you can see, my Jaguar is maxed for level 16. So, yes, I'm very proud of that. Accuracy, transformation time, and repair speed are not going to be very useful. Shush, lady. Um, the transformation system is very, very, like, bad. You should, um, because it's only, look, 0 0.1 seconds off the transformation time. Bruh. I only upgraded it so that I can upgrade this guy. Because you needed this to be a level 3 for some reason. It's very annoying. Porcupine. Damage is maxed because the game is fair. Uh, this guy increases uh, targeting time range. This guy's pretty good. These two. The machine gun of the porcupine is meh. It's not the best, not the worst against infantry, but yeah. So its accuracy is horrible though, so you might want to upgrade this. Um, 
Mammoth? I don't use Mammoth that much. It's My Mammoth's not very upgraded. But, uh... Um... You can upgrade, look at the firing range there. Uh, yeah. Mammoths aren't very tanky, so you should upgrade their health and armor a little bit. Transformation time, not useful at all. I think that was only to upgrade uh, these two, I think. Chameleon, my, f my, so the power plant and the fog generator is very, very important to upgrade. Because this, uh, the fog generator increases the radius, which is, so once you have higher radius, like an extra cell, like mine does, it's very, very useful. It's easier to micro your JCP2, your Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine, and this is just so that it lasts longer, and, uh, and you can recover faster, so that's pretty nice. This is not very useful, but... Many times I've waited, like many times my chameleon got sniped by Vertex because it couldn't activate fast enough. And when I played, when I played uh, the sandbox, I noticed how fast it was, and I'm like, gosh, that's actually pretty good. Now the health and armor is also reasonably important. Uh, I just need this. Oh, actually, yeah, I should upgrade that. It it just says it lasts longer. It just says it doesn't die when they're force firing. Not that they do that much, honestly, at my rank. Dragonflies, I've not used them that much. They got useful after the update. Um, upgrade pretty much everything. It's pretty good. Yeah. Hawks. Mm, I've got nothing to say, really. Just, yeah, everything except... Oh, it doesn't even have repair speed. Huh. The machine gun's not very useful, though. It pretty much does nothing. Albatross, upgrade your bombers. Upgrade your bombers. Mine's not that good. But it doesn't need to be because it's still overpowered. <laughs> uh, you want some extra speed and move maneuverability in these guys. This this is probably pretty important. I should also get that, but uh, cost money, you know. Kaiman? My Kaiman sucks. It's a paper boat. Uh... You should upgrade them. Upgrade the mines too. Uh, another good thing is to put a mine from their shipyard if you're early. That always gets them. A lot of time they just quit when I do that. Uh, yeah, Kaimans are actually underrated. They're really, really fast. Uh, got nice. F they had really good view range, but they nerfed a the cell. But it's still decent. And the good old alligators. Uh, alligators are really good. Uh, because they have anti-air, so they basically have no big weakness. Pretty much just Vikings, which you can counter with alligators. <laughs> and and Avia, since they don't have anti-air, so they need Poseidons. So if they don't have, you're in luck. So yeah, that's why searching the Nautilus tournament is very good. Because alligators are just very all-rounded. Barracudas, they're not very good. Um... Oh, something I've got uh, to mention is a uh, upgrade f for the alligators. S uh, I don't know which one it is, but you want uh, the targeting time and the accuracy and the missile velocity to be upgraded because the missiles are very slow. So sometimes you don't even hit the vertex; they just fly that fast. So yeah, very annoying. Okay, so back to Barracuda. As you can see, my Barracuda is just so amazing. Got like. One, two, three upgrades. It's like basically maxed. Uh, yeah, bar barracudas aren't useful. Not, not very useful. Uh, cause, cause they, they, they do beat Poseidons, but a Poseidon is almost never alone. If you had, if you had like a barracuda and they had a Poseidon, hmm, free real estate. But if they bring one Viking along, well, you're screwed. And it costs to, uh. 20 resources more than a Poseidon. And they're very slow. They are pretty good if they don't have, if your enemy doesn't have a navy or they moved away from land so you can actually just kill their buildings and their HQ and stuff. 
Now for the buildings, I'm not going to go over the config version of the buildings because it's the same pretty much. Uh, upgrade your HQ. Um, health and armor is not the most useful. More useful for assistance when they're sniping your HQ with vertexes, but yeah. The power reserve diesel generator. That's good to upgrade so that you can have eventually, if, if at HQ1, if you look at the power, the energy, it's 55. Now, construction yard is 40, 40 uh, power. So if it's 50 or over, you can have a construction yard and a barracks without needing a power plant, which is nice if you want to go fast. You, when it's maxed, I think, or it's near maxed, then you can have three barracks and one. So you don't need to use the emergency measures boost, which gives you power. I use it, but yeah. This one, not very useful. I don't know why I upgraded it that much. It just increases. It just increases how much resources your HQ makes, but it doesn't make a lot, and you have supply centers. But it, yeah, it helps. CP pretty important, very important for long term battles, so your army can be bigger than that. Um, yeah, as you can see, at least this needs to be level nine, so it's very annoying. This is an interesting one if you don't have starter pack you will need to max this one out so you can see which way the water is if you do have starter pack you can just see the map and you just know which way the water is if there's water and then build your construction out that way deployment time i th at first i thought it was completely useless because it only adds a couple of seconds on but eventually you are able to have it long enough on so that you can build your ship yard in deployment time and then yeah then you've got all the containers <laughs> um it does need to be very high level i don't know if it's ma it needs to be maxed uh you also need a gold boost construction and you need to have a certain skill card to a certain level the construction skill card so yeah this guy uh base warehouse it just increases your uh starting resources so then you can build, instead of one barracks, so, so normally when you start off you can build a construction yard, a power plant, two supply centers and a barracks, but as you upgrade you can build more, like two barracks, three barracks, and then at, I, th I don't know if it's max, but then you can build, probably is max, but then you can build three supply centers, three barracks, uh, supply uh, construction yard and, and power plant? That, is that what I missed? Yeah. Okay, that was a long one. Okay, construction yard. This guy is pretty important. Uh, it gives you more range for building. That's nice. It was nice. This is just how, f how fast. The repair time is not very useful because, you know, health and armor not that useful, but the health does get in handy if you want to upgrade this because, yeah. Power plant. My power plant is not very good. You should upgrade yours, especially if you're confed, because they their buildings usually cost more power. So yeah, that's a nice weakness. If you didn't know, if you target their power plants, they hate it. Now supply centers are the most important thing. Kind of uh, max them out every level. The first thing you need to max out. First thing, always, always, like one hundred percent. Do it. Do it. Uh, because, sorry, uh, because the more, if you make more resources than your opponent, you win. Like, who's more likely to win? Someone who's making a little, like a small amount of resources or a lot, you know? The person with a lot, obviously, because then they can go higher HQ faster, make more troops faster, afford stuff faster, all that. So, yeah, uh, you want to have, am I rank 7? Rank, like. Uh, like rank 23 up it's 8 I'd say uh, if it's lower rank about 4 or 5 uh, you know honestly just just if you're in doubt just add another one <laughs> barracks uh, these two ones not very useful but this guy is if you want to scout faster or if you're just spamming infantry same thing with this you know these guys they don't have a lot of upgrades, it's just have like speed of how 
how long it takes to make something. The health number is not that important. Just you can upgrade if you want some beef to your base. Okay. Uh, same thing. Same thing. Airfield upgrade. Basically everything because your airfields. If they die, you lose your hawks or your your aviation. Uh, and this is just the fueling and the repair speed. That's pretty important. Shipyards. Same thing as the other guys. Nuclear launcher. I haven't upgraded a lot. Uh, I could. I don't need to. It still does a lot. A lot of damage. Obviously the confederation one does more damage. But. If my friend and I compared ours and. Uh, the resistance one has. A bigger radius. So yeah. One cell extra radius. Which is honestly not the same. I'd rather have one smaller radius and. 4,000 more damage But yeah, it's just how it is it doesn't because everything on the outskirts doesn't die not Really wall Resistance wall for resistance walls are not as how it handy. It's just health uh, Because for confed they can Just spam walls and then nothing can get through. I'm pretty sure their walls are actually stronger. I'm not sure I heard somewhere they were but uh, yeah Zeus just goes through, but if they make walls, they, their rocket towers can shoot far enough to kill us. Sniper towers, they're pretty important. Um, they're basically the scout stoppers. They just kill most infantry. They're not very good for defense. If you want to defend with them, you don't want to build them in front. You want to build them at the back of your base, so then they just... Shoot everything from afar while your army takes the damage, basically, if you're getting assault rushed or whatever. Gun towers, they're not that useful. Mine, as you can see, is just so good. Two upgrades on the damage, whoa. <sighs> um, they're only, they, like, one Zeus can kill a gun tower for 60 less resources, so, yeah. But they are useful against fortress rushes, I will say that. That is probably the only reason they're upgraded. Uh, just increase my brightness. Brightness, there we go. Um, yeah, so I should probably upgrade mine. I've seen back for some more. Use a lot more defensive buildings. I don't think it's the right idea. I mean, he can do what he wants. I don't know. He's the rank 21, but... Is he rank 21? Maybe 20. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I'd rather have a Jaguar for 220 that almost beats a Zeus rather than... A gun tower for 300 that almost beats a Zeus. <laughs> and honestly, my Jag would probably beat a Zeus because it's maxed. And my gun tower would not, so yeah. A, 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 a Jaguar and a Rifleman would beat a Zeus, so yeah, just saying. Anti-air towers for resistance, upgrade it all because the game is not fair. Confederation air is too good, so yeah. Damage and range, whatever this is, just it's all maxed. The health and armor is not that helpful. This, I mean, anti air doesn't really miss, so it's not that useful. My naval platform is horrible. I'm up, I am upgrading it, as you can see at the bottom. Uh, yeah, it's pretty important to upgrade it. Uh, at, low, at low ranks, it's not that good because basically a Viking or alligator just kills a naval platform or a torpedo platform. Uh, but at higher ranks, one can stop, like, two or three. Well, it, well it, like, I'd say not two or three, but if it's out of range or, like, if there's focus on something else, it really saves the day. So, yeah, upgrade the anti-air too. Mine's not that good, but I just build the anti-air tower next to the water, same thing. So, yeah, that's resistance for you. Um... I'll just quickly switch to my alternate account. Now, my confederation account is level 9. <laughs> I don't really play confederation. I find it a little boring. Also, it's level 9, so everything is 10 times slower. It takes me to ni 9 minutes to get a vertex out, when it takes me 6 to do it on resistance. So, yeah. But... Yeah, the World War Turn's been over for a long time. Okay. So, yeah, now, upgrade your assaults. Um, 
just for the same reason as riflemen, but also just to beat everything. Uh, assaults are better than riflemen, so by like by default. So there's no point in trying to upgrade your riflemen so that it kills assaults. I mean, if it is max, then it probably would kill a lot of assaults. But you know, rather max out your jaguar and your splice in it. Heavy salt. Now, heavy salt and grenadiers, they're both anti-tank infantry or anti-armor infantry, but heavy salt are more, f are way better against buildings and armor than grenadiers are, but grenadiers are a little bit cheaper, and they, they have around the same health, I, as I can see here. Uh, my heavy salt's obviously not as good, but yeah. Uh, but grenadiers are more good against infantry. They're not good against infantry, but they're not horrible fire assaults they may seem kind of useless at first they're good for scanning they're not actually that good for scanning the forest you can just make a cyclone but that would reveal that you have an avia factory so then they might build anti air so you know but they are actually really tanky they tank for mines they they take the damage from Jaguars and stuff, and they just jump into the fog. While they're jumping, they're basically immortal. You can't kill them. <laughs> I think they take like 90% less damage or something. Or like the accuracy is way lower. So, yeah. Fortress. Oh, wow. Fortresses actually have a lot of upgrades. Uh, they... Fortresses... They're pretty useful, I'd say. They do, they're basically the rush stopper. They, they kill everything. Well, all, every infantry. The flamethrower. If you can get close, you know, everything melts away. As long as your fortress is good. Of, but for resistance, you should, if the, if they aren't microing their fortresses, if their fortresses are just double tapped or just sitting there, you should send out one unit that, probably isn't infantry like a coyote or an armadillo that will like run behind the fortress and then the fortress will turn around and then not fire its flamethrower on everything else so if you're rushing with grenadiers and coyotes like i do you just send a coyote around and then all the fortresses go for that and then your grenadiers just kill it quickly um one stupid thing though is that fortresses can beat an armadillo even though it's literally got machine gun and flamethrower versus the one with explosives so yeah it's because fortresses are armor three which is kind of i mean it makes sense that they're meant to be heavy armored but aren't armadillos too but armadillos can win if you run around and make them not use their flamethrower so yeah something to think about hammers now at first hammers may seem quite inferior to um to armadillos, I mean, they cost 20 more, they lose to one, they're not much faster, if they are fast, I'm not actually sure, but hammers are actually pretty good, because they are 2 CP, when armadillos are 3 CP, so they can be mass produced way more, and just run behind their base, kill everything, now Zeus, upgraded all, no, not accuracy, or repair speed unless unless you've maxed like everything out then that's when that's the time to upgrade it typhoons yes upgrade it because you need good anti-air and uh typhoons are better anti-air than porcupines for 30 less resources now tell me how that's fair torrents are very good a couple torrents can kill an army one shot as long as you don't miss so they're not that good for sieging because uh, they are outranged by mammoths. So if they have mammoths, then you know, or they just they're slight they slightly outrange jaguars. I think by two cells. So yeah, if you have if you're not if the confed isn't using gold, common attack or vehicle attack, and the uh, resistance is, you can just send your jaguars forward one cell, and just boost, and then you should be able to kill it. So yeah. Okay, for that. Energy shield. Hmm. It's not that useful at lower ranks because it's expensive to get and all that. But it, it's also, its armor isn't that good. But eventually it's very good with Zeus because Zeus already have a whole bunch of armor and health. So yeah.
Chameleons are always good though. They're even better at low lengths because no one knows how to deal with them. Cyclones, they were useless, based pretty much. Uh, but now they're better. If you've seen Tracy, he likes to spam them because our anti air is not actually that good. You know, I know, shocking fact. Um, so yeah, they're actually, they have more health than dragonflies, but dragonflies deal more damage. So a dragonfly does beat a cyclone, but it is one less CP, so it can also be mash produced like hammers. So yeah, it's really hard to stop. Vertexes are probably the best chip in the game. Uh, except, like, if you're not counting heroes, because they're not out yet, but Vertexes, they just... Because everyone thinks that they think uh, they think that the game's fair because they both cost three hundred resources. Vertexes may deal more damage. They're faster. They're more maneuverable, so that means they can kill hawks without getting hit because hawks can't turn fast enough. But they think it's fair just because hawks have more health. But Confederation anti-air just does more damage anyway, so it really basically that doesn't count. Okay, so yeah. Thors, like Albatross, they do slightly less damage because they only drop three, drop three bombs, but the bombs do more damage. Uh, they still kill stuff, but I think Albatross just deal more damage against, so so that they can kill. They don't actually Albatross don't even kill Zeus yet. Oh, not not sorry, not yet. They just never do. <laughs> uh, even without shield or if you're boosting, it, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. Or at least at high ranks I've seen. Yeah, it doesn't. But one Thor can just smash an old, a, a big group of JCP. Because Chameleon does nothing, but Shield actually helps against Thors. Deltas are pretty good. Uh, they've been buffed recently, costing less, having more accuracy. I, I don't think... I, I guess the... Mm, I don't think they needed a buff. I guess the... I guess the resources, but not the accuracy, it was fine. Kyman's, they also got the, um, few nerf, but I think it was fair. Uh, I guess Kyman's were pretty overpowered at scouting. But yeah, it's fine. Uh, three deltas kill Wasp. So, yeah. Uh, your deltas are pretty good at rushing too, because they can go land. Um, so yeah. Pretty much upgrade everything. Pretty much upgrade everything for everything except for repair speed and the other ones I was talking about. Uh, Vikings, yeah, upgrade everything. Uh, something to think about is um, Vikings. They have the um, the cannons and they also have the torpedoes, right? And they win against alligators, but they're not as good against land as alligators because. I think I'd say most of their damage comes from the torpedoes, or at least a lot of it, at least half. So, yeah, they're not as good against land. And their weakness is helicopters, jets. Not bombers, bombers can't really hit Navy stuff, it just doesn't work. Plus, Navy has too much health for bombers anyway. You should just have a couple hawks to circle and kill the Viking. But alligators don't have that weakness because they have anti-air. Poseidons, they're the slowest dupe in the game. They cost slightly less than Barracudas, 380. Um, upgrade, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Um, they also have the most health and armor in the game, if you can see. They are very, very beefy, almost like a hero. Uh... They, they're they basically barracudas, they also fire really far, but they, they're just better, because they can actually help in, like, actual naval combat. They're not, like, they're not as good as a viking, but they still help, because they also, because vikings need the anti-air too, so they're pretty useful. And that wraps up everything, I think. I'll just go through the bullings, just stuff. Um, bunkers, they are not scout stoppers. 
but they are rushed up as they um they have a lot of a lot of health and armor i mean look at that 70 70 armor and i've got two upgrades on it so yeah they're really good against for just building like defenses rocket towers i used to think that they sucked i mean they didn't have a lot of health and armor so yeah but eventually when they start firing four or three rockets instead of two they become way better it's even at stopping like um jcb because once a unit like even for like a small amount of time like a split second if something in your chameleon is seen by an assault then the rocket tower fires all four shots and your whole army's down the drain anti-air and torpedo platform pretty much the same thing yeah upgrade uh, use your walls walls are good get pretty much everything now space system i don't have space system uh you don't need to upgrade it as soon as you get it but eventually you want to upgrade it so it does more damage space system can one shot hq5 as long as you're boosting and they're not um nuclear launcher shouldn't be able to i don't think uh unless you're boosting they're not but yeah i, I don't know uh space system kills a lot more buildings though okay that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like and if you really liked it and you're feeling extra kind subscribe because yeah help me